My name is Flo. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to a long-awaited episode of Pla Addiction. So I figured that the video that I preview, previously showed you guys uh, was very short. So I told myself, why not show you uh, some highlights of what I've got during this, the winter. Uh, summer's coming and it's very fun to show what we got during that time. I find it's more fun to show some videos. So yeah, you're in for a treat. I skipped a few records, but uh, yeah, the good stuff is here and I hope you like it. So let's start it up. Uh, so first up is uh, the Teenage Head. I got a few uh, new Teenage Head in my collection. This is their first album and it's pretty hard to find. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, there's this guy who had a, a few to, to sell. So uh, he sold them to me for a quite a reasonable price. So here's the Frantic City. Uh, this one I already had, but I decided to show you guys anyway. They're uh, some kind of fun. Their mini LP called Tornado. And one other rarity is Trouble in the Jungle. Uh, now, I know that Jex is a big fan of uh, Teenage Head, and he doesn't have Trouble in the Jungle and uh, their f the first album. So I told myself, uh, whenever he has the money, he can buy them from me. No problem, no issues. Jax, they're yours whenever you get a chance to uh, to pay them, man. All right. Next up is Smashed Pumpkin, Gish. So yeah, this is probably uh, my favorite album from them. Uh, this is their first album. And uh, yeah, it's a very good album, man. Like, my favorite song is Siva. And uh, man, like, I don't know, it's, it's been popping out uh, in the city lately. I, I saw it twice, and the, the second time was like, uh, I, I, I'm not taking any chance on buying it, so there you go. So lately, I've been into um, this band. You might have heard about them. They're called Ghost. So this is their second album, which uh, uh, Body and Blood is a pretty good song, Year Zero. It's pretty cool. Like it's it's kind of a heavy metal band, but like they're they're not as heavy as other bands that I know about. And they're yeah, I mean they're they're anti-religious and stuff. So you know they, I'm trying to not listen to the the, the lyrics much, but man, their <clears throat> their energy, like their their uh, music, their guitar is incredible. So here's uh, their last album, uh, Memoria, uh, Meliora. Yeah. So yeah, this is uh, my favorite album from them. They got from the pinnacle to the pit. Uh, I really love he is. It's, he is is a very uh, it's a slower song, but uh, I really like it. Uh, actually, let me show you guys an extract. So uh, there you go. We're standing here by the abyss, and the world is in flames. So yeah, the extract, as you might have noticed, it, it's slow, but man, like the melody is awesome. And yeah, I got their last EP. Uh, it's called, um, what's it called? It's called uh, Pope Star. So they have uh, one song that they did themselves called Square Hammer. And the rest is all, um, it's all uh, covers. So uh, one that, uh, <laughs> one highlight of them would be Missionary Man. So you guys know Missionary Man by um, uh, Eurythmics. Yeah, that's a pretty funny song. When I heard that, I was like, what? Ghost is making a cover of that. Don't mess with the missionary man. Yeah, that song anyway. Next up is, I'm a big fan of Extreme. So I got their uh, latest release called, uh, it's their live album. With, uh, it's, they're only doing por porno graffiti on it. It's pretty good. Um, it's, I don't find that they, like, it sounds exactly like porno graffiti. Like, they didn't add any extra stuff. So that, it's a little thing that I was disappointed at. But other than that, it's awesome. Uh, they're on red. Pretty cool, so yeah. So this one here, I no, I I'm like I've heard about them and you know I listen to them okay occasionally, but like I'm not a super fan. It's called uh, Mumford and Son and it's their first album. Uh, the reason why I bought it is because I found it for extremely cheap, so I didn't like uh, uh, I mean I just bought it because it's awesome and 
yeah, whenever I'm in a you know relaxing mood or something, that's uh, good stuff. It's folk music, and they're pretty famous. I'm sure you know them. <clears throat> Another slower album, CD in Color. So this is their uh, Little Hell album. Their uh, it's his third album, made by Dallas Green. Uh, yeah, uh, good music on there. Uh, we found each other in the dark is an awesome started starting track. Grand Optimus and others. Oh sister, yeah, it's very fun to listen in my opinion, and yeah, you should have a listen if if you ever uh, uh, get a chance. Next up, are you guys ready? I got some. Beastie Boys, ill communication. Wait, is it ill? No, no, it's licensed to ill. Jeez. Okay, licensed to ill. Yeah, man. Like this is an awesome album. It's a, uh, it's a uh, an official print, but look at these. These are on pink vinyls, and it's on two LP. And the second LP actually has some bonus features and it's very awesome. Like, I think they did like a, a Beatles cover. Um, man, like, just trying to see here. Uh, I'm Down. I'm Down by the Beatles, which is pretty cool. Have a look if you, ha if you can. And then they, they have like um, songs that they did, but the, like alternative tracks and it's good. So yeah, I wish I could like record I I should probably record it for you guys and so you can see what, uh, how crazy it is uh, it's awesome man Next up I wasn't going to show these but the reason why I'm showing these is because of the incredible price I got it for them The first one is AC DC 30 deeds done dirt cheap Yeah anyway uh, <laughs> my girlfriend is in the back and she's looking at me and she's like what the hell are you doing <laughs> Anyway it makes me laugh uh, so yeah, man, I got ACDC and Led Zeppelin too. The reason why I got I showing these is because I got them for two fifty each. Two fifty, two fifty, man, that's crazy. So yeah, I might as well show them, and it was an awesome buy. They are a little rough. It's as if you would hear like a fireplace in the background every time you hear those. But man, like it's, I mean, two fifty, man. So why not? Next up is a band that I wanted to show you guys because I've never heard about them before and I did a blind buy and whew, they're awesome. It's called Lake. If you guys know Lake, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, it's something I, I've never heard. I don't like, man, their sound is awesome. Like it, it's just plain rock and roll, you know, but they're genius. Like it's, it's awesome, some stuff that they made. Uh, their most famous song is Time Bomb. But my favorite is the first song. It's called On The Run. Man, the guitar is great and I highly recommend it. It's on YouTube. If you can, have a listen at the first song and you won't regret it. Jex was like, holy shit, this is great. So yeah, your reaction will be the same. All right. You guys ready for some awesome stuff? Here you go. So I got, uh, actually, first, let me show you what I got here. It's one of the rarest EP that, that I have. And it's called Eric Strip. This is their first EP. It's a local band. Uh, you guys probably know by now that I'm a big fan of Eric Strip. I was really happy to find that. As you might have noticed, the price tag, $100. <laughs> when I see Eric Strip, for me, it's just, I gotta buy it. Like, the reason why it's so rare is because they only did 500 copies and, um, uh, it was released in the 90s, so you know, those are two things that that makes it rare just by putting up together. So yeah, uh, I did a little sketch on that for you guys, so look at that! Oh my god, babe, I got this new record, it's like super rare, I can't believe I found it! They only released like 500 of it, and it was released in the 90s, man, it's impossible to find! That's nice, babe. Can you bring me a glass of water? Well, I hope you like the little sketch. Uh, f you know, just wanted to include my girl, my lovely girlfriend in the sketch, so hope you liked it. Uh, so yeah, now you guys, look at what I got here. I got Iron Maiden Killers. I got Iron Maiden Power Slave. 
somewhere in time. And you might have guessed it, seven son of a seven son. So the reason why I bought so many is because lately I've been more into Iron Maiden and um, one of my favorite sellers called Matt, he had three of the albums uh, for a very good price, new condition. Uh, and uh, the Killers one, uh, I got it for a pretty good price at another place. Actually, my buddy, Christian, bought it for me as a present. I was like, what? You shouldn't have done that, man. And I really appreciate it. And man, I, like, I, I just want to buy him some stuff too, you know, to, to you know, show my appreciation. So I give him a little, a, a few records. But man, like it's so nice of him. Thank you very much, Christian. And last but not least is Soundgarden Ultra Mega OK. So I bought this album before um, before um, uh, Chris Cornell uh, passed away. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, and uh, man, I'm happy that I did because I've only been into uh, Soundgarden lately, uh, and it's great, man. Like. Uh, I know that Chris Cornell didn't like their first album, but I had a listen, and I'm really happy uh, at my buy, and I got it for a reasonable price. So yeah, this is great, man. And here's another sketch that uh, me and my girlfriend did for you guys. Here you go. Oh my God, babe, did you hear? Chris Cornell, the singer of Soundgarden, and uh, Audio Slave is dead. That's nice, babe. So guys, this was my uh, uh, highlights of haul that I got during this winter. I got a, a few more, but I, I decided uh, not to show them because it would be, be too much of a big video. Anyway, I hope you like it. Uh, leave some comments to let me know what you, you think of my uh, haul. And uh, hopefully I, I get some time to watch you guys' videos. So uh, have a good one and see you next time. Hee <laughs> hee!